Hi guys, I have my birch box and my Ipsy for the month of April. All right, we have another Rifle Paper Company box. So they also threw in this nice little 20% off card for Rifle Paper if I ever feel like buying something from them. They do have lots of cute stuff, so who knows? Maybe someday I will. Okay, so while I'm talking about it, let's just go ahead and jump into Birch Box. So the first thing in here is this wonderful hair product from Amika. I'm kind of obsessed with Amika. Their hair mask is my holy grail, best hair mask ever. I have their curling wand set. The dry shampoo is awesome. Oh my gosh, everything they have is awesome and it smells fantastic. This stuff is actually kind of on my so-so list. It's great in that it definitely adds texture and volume, but it definitely leaves your hair feeling a bit dry. Like the texture of your hair isn't, isn't super nice. So that's my only issue with this. And by like day two, my hair just feels kind of gross. <laughs> you know, it definitely does not look oily, I'll give it that. It's not super crunchy, it's just like dry. I have it in my hair today. It's the only product that I have in my hair. My hair has been giving me issues lately. It does not want to curl and, you know, I, I feel like it did okay and it definitely has, you know, some added volume and texture. Um, like I said, it just kind of feels a little bit dry and funky. So that is kind of on my so-so list. Okay, the next thing in here is from all natural. This sample is not okay. All right, look at this. This is super teeny freaking tiny. The colors in here also not my favorite. Okay, let's just, I'm just gonna see if I can swatch these for you. Here's the lipstick. So there's a lipstick, a blush, and an eyeshadow, which I like the concept here, and the company is supposed to be all natural. <laughs> These makeup colors are not all natural, but the ingredients are all supposed to be natural. So this is Sangria Lipstick Palermo Blusher Ivory Shadow. Okay, you will notice that you cannot even see the ivory shadow. Seriously, even on my eyelids, you cannot see it. It's like zero pigment. This lipstick, I will never wear that color. It is a shiny fuchsia... I don't know, I'm just not into it. And the blush is bright orange. Again, not my color. I'm sure somebody out there must like these colors, not me. They're all a bit sparkly and the texture of them is okay. They didn't wow me and this sample is so teeny tiny. I'm totally giving this to June and she is going to love it. So if you have a two-year-old girl who loves makeup, <laughs> Anyway, okay, so the next thing in here is from Dr. Jart. This is the Liftra Contour Cream. I was totally confused by the name of this. I, I was having like a ditzy moment. I'm like, contour cream? So are you just supposed to contour with it? No, you are not. You are supposed to put it all over your face and it is essentially supposed to lift and plump in all the right areas and it has some sort of collagen bonding something going on in there. You know, Dr. Jart is very sciencey. It's nice and creamy, very hydrating, and you definitely can feel the uh, the tightening going on, but your skin doesn't look dry at all. It just looks really nice. I'm actually really liking this. I am currently testing out some products. I actually just uploaded my Dr. Derma review, which you should go check out. Some really excellent skincare. And now I'm testing out Be Enigma, so I will have a review for you soon on that one. So I only used this a couple of times, but the couple of times that I used it, I really enjoyed it. This is something that I would like to go back to if I don't end up sticking with one of these other ones. I'm always switching up my skincare. This, also another winner. This is from Marcel, and I really wanted to try this. This is the three-in-one my, micellar, micellar? I don't know how to say that word. Anyway, I have been using the one from Simple, and it's fine, I like it okay. I have also tried the one from Bioderma, which is great. I love this one. I really, really love this one. This might be my favorite. It does an excellent job of removing all of your makeup, mascara included. It is specifically for sensitive skin. It is paraben free, perfume free, which is a big plus, oil free, alcohol free, another big one. I mean, my cellar water usually is alcohol free, but this is also a toner, which is really nice. And so you can use this like as a makeup remover. You can also use this after you wash your face to get any residual makeup. And it's also a toner, which is nice. I'm just really, really liking this. I think that it's fantastic. So this is a big plus. And then the last thing in here, this one is pretty interesting. So this one is from Audacity, Audacity? Is that what it's supposed to be, like Audacity? But not really? 
I don't know. This is the Pimple Remedy. They have a whole slew of different serums that are really just essential oils. So I feel like this, this, this could be a little controversial because a lot of people don't like to use essential oils on their skin and then other people claim that essential oils, oils are fabulous for your skin. Personally, I find that they can just be a little intense. So you kind of have to be careful and know your skin to know which ones are going to irritate it, which ones aren't. For me, I used this simply as a spot treatment you can mix it in with your regular moisturizer if you want to do it that way or you could just put it all over your face It kind of depends on your skin and your needs. So they have this one which is for pimples They also have this whole list which is like um, what is that science -y? the chemistry table of Major brain fart happening you guys know what I'm talking about, the table of something. Um, anyway, that that's kind of their, their thing, and they have the different essential oils that they mix for different things, like jojoba lavender for clogged pores, and papaya geranium for pigmentation, and green tea lemongrass for radiance effect, etc., etc. Um, this one is for pimples. It is very strong. It is very fragrant, and I did find it effective, and it didn't irritate my skin. I was a little nervous about that. I totally did like a spot treatment. I was getting a pimple like right on my jaw over here, and I'm like the perfect spot for it, you know? So it's not like right in the middle of my face, and it, it didn't irritate my skin at all, and my pimple was gone the next day. Like, gone. It was kind of amazing. So then I kind of used it on a couple other small ones that were sort of popping up. They were, they were little ones and this totally helped. So for me, I think this is, this is pretty cool. It didn't irritate my skin. It helped get rid of my pimples. It didn't dry out my skin at all. So I'm actually really liking that one. I would be curious to try out some of their other oils. Okay, so that completes Birchbox. Let's move on to Ipsy. So Ipsy this month, cute bag. It's kind of tie-dye-ish. Okay, so in here we have this nail polish that I'm wearing. This is from Probel, and this is in the color In or Out. And this is such a gorgeous, like, lilac-y, purple, pinky color. Love, love, love it. The color on my other hand is from Rimmel. I got this in my Melty box. I'll be reviewing that soon. Anyway, the polish goes on really nicely. Two coats covered nice and evenly. It seems to be a really good polish, so I'm enjoying this one. Ooh, this I was super excited to get. This is from Benefit Cosmetics. This is their Real Mascara Primer, which I really wanted to try. Their Real Mascara, I think, is a great mascara, but it's not my favorite by any means. This might be my new favorite primer. So currently my Holy Grail mascara primer is the one from Dior. I love that primer. I just think that it is fan freaking tastic I ran out of it and I ended up replacing it with the Tarte primer, which is so-so. It's okay. This is wonderful. And this is tinted. It's not white like most primers. It is brown. So you could wear this on its own if you wanted to go for a more natural look. It lengthens and volumizes a little bit and it adds a nice brown tint. If you're like fair skinned and have blonde eyelashes and you know, black mascara can be a little harsh sometimes. So this would be totally acceptable on its own. Or if you wanted to amp it up and then add your mascara to it, holy cow, I'm telling you, beautiful, long, lush lashes. I am so so totally impressed with this primer. I absolutely love it. I'm telling you, I think this might rival my Dior show. <laughs> Let's say it a lot. This is the Just Blending In brush from Lab squared, I guess is what it's supposed to be. It's a little, you know, to the power of two. The handle is very nice. I like the shape of it. The bristles, you know, I mean, this is a nice shape blending brush, but these are like really poor quality bristles. I mean, it looks like a crappy paintbrush that you would give to your kids. In fact, I'm probably going to do that, give this to my kids, because this is not the quality of brushes I am used to. It's okay, I used it today, and I'm not ever going to use it again. That's all we're gonna say about that one. Moving on to another product that I love. This is from Nude Sticks. This is a leap, a leap. This is a lip and cheek pencil. <gasps> I love this, I absolutely love this. I have it on my lips and my cheeks today. This is probably the only product in the history of lip and cheek things that works great for both your lips and cheeks. First of all, the color is amazing. This is Mystic, and it's just a gorgeous color. Let me swatch it on my hand for you. Not that it's not on my lips. Okay, so this is it right here. It's just such a beautiful color. How would you describe that? I don't know. It's kind of nude, dusty, rose, 
I don't know. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's on my cheeks and it feels like a really creamy lipstick. And you put it on your cheeks and it blends out pretty easily. It has great lasting power. It feels really hydrating on my lips. And again, I just freaking love this color. The full size of this, I believe, comes with a sharpener because this is not like a twist up. You do have to sharpen this, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm okay with sharpening things. I will probably mostly use it on my lips, but this is a perfect throw in your bag for, you know, touch-ups when you're just, you know, quickly doing one product. You don't have to have a, a blush brush with you or anything. You can just use your finger and it actually looks really great on both your lips and your cheeks. So loving this. And then the last thing in here, I got two of these masks from Pure Lease and these are Prevent Masks. This is the Blue Lotus and White Tea Treatment Sheet Mask and this is the Blue Lotus and Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask. So this one is for soothing and balancing. This one is for nourishing and renewing. They're both ultra hydrating. I was really excited to get these and the fact that they put two of them in here I thought was really nice. So this is just, you know, your basic sheet mask. I saved this one for you so that you could see. You put this on, you look like a psycho killer. And then 15 minutes later, you have beautiful hydrated skin and you just take it off and rub in the extras and then it soaks in. It does kind of leave your face a bit sticky. So this is one of those things that you definitely want to use at night, not really a daytime thing. I mean, I guess you could, but I think it's probably better for nighttime. And then, you know, you sleep with all that goodness on your face. So my issue with these is that they are very perfumey and not just like scented. I don't always mind scented things, but when it just smells like perfume, like straight up strong perfume. I don't like it at all. And that is what these smell like. So if these didn't have that atrocious scent, I would love them because it really did hydrate my skin and make it feel wonderful. I only used the Blue Lotus in Seaweed one because I decided that this one is probably has that same horrible perfume scent. I'm dissing it here, but I know not everybody hates perfumey things on your face. It's just I'm super sensitive to it. So I am going to add this one to my giveaway pile. So if you're new to my channel, what I do is any of my samples or stuff that I know I'm not going to use, I do not open the packaging. I save it, I put it in a pile, and I will do a giveaway as soon as my pile has grown large enough. So make sure that you watch out for that. Okay, that is going in the pile, and that completes my Birchbox versus Ipsy for the month of April. Overall, I got some really amazing stuff. I got to try a lot of fun stuff and I got some major duds this month. I don't usually get that many things that I'm like really don't like. So that was interesting. So let me know what you guys got in your boxes. I'm really curious to see what everybody else got and what you thought of all this stuff. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with all your friends and I will see you in my next video. Bye!